During the reign of the Ancient Ones, Savar himself appeared in a vision to the first prophetess of Kimra. His words are recorded in the Tome of Sivar. There shall come a time when one who has the heart of a Kilrathi, but is not Kilrathi born, shall rain crimson fire down upon us, and Nathrak. A time of great darkness shall embrace us. Piranhas to some high-tech bucket of bolts in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry about it, little man. I brought something here to pass the long, cold night of psychic breeze, especially with the right company, if you know what I mean. See, I got some notes. Yes. Altarian brandy? That's contraband. Where did you get it? It's a diplomatic park. I borrowed it from the Consulate General's oh, private reserve. Well, put it away, Stoop, before we end up in the brig. What are you worried about, Stoop? This isn't like fight school anymore. Ten hut! Huh? 
second lieutenants Casey and Garrett, I presume. Maestro. Maestro? Okay, Maestro. I'm first lieutenant Jean Talbot. Call sign Stiletto. I'm acting commander of the Diamondback Squadron. Your initial assignment here on the Midway. How did a first lieutenant like her get to rate an entire squadron? Because I'm that good, Mr. Garrett. Hmm. Apparently, your reputation precedes you. It seems the CAG would like to discuss that little incident with the Altarian Consulate's daughter. So it really was his private reserve, huh? Shut up. And you, Mr. Casey. Do you think that having a famous father is gonna cut you any slack around here? You're dead wrong. With all due respect, I'm here on my own merits. Let's hope so. Because around here, you live or die by your flight stats. Understood? I did get the highest scores of any cadet at the academy. You did? And the most demerits, according to your record. Listen. This is a make-or-break shakedown cruise for us. I don't have time to play babysitter. Got it? Now get yourselves registered on the system. And stow this swag before the CAG sees it. You're in enough trouble as it is. That went well, didn't it? Welcome to the Midway. I think she liked me. You think? Yeah, I think the lieutenant liked me. Stiletto. Stiletto. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Check out the rest of this bad boy. Great! The keg is waiting, Mr. Garrett. I mean, I almost feel sorry for the guy because he's flying against the maniac. Not. <laughs> but anyway, so he pulls a brake right in front of me, right? Bam! Cat on my right, dust, all right? Wingman doesn't even see me. Okay, over there. Boom, boom, boom! Kitty Does he take his... Anyway, all right. The third cat, image recon, boom! Right into his stovepipe, dust! He's gone. Hi, I'm Casey. <laughs> Meanwhile, all right, the chief cat, right? There's some, some like, the... Something smelling here. Now something stinks in here, doesn't it? My eyes are watered. Oh, you know what? It's only one thing in the universe that could smell that bad. A plebe. Fresh off the recovery deck and still reeking of the academy. Shoo, plebe. Get lost, okay? This is in the sandbox. All right, this is the table for the big, big boy. Hey. Cause this is the table for the big boys, Black Widow Squadron. Wow, oh, man, just getting to the good parts. All right, um, I'm saving the best for later. All right, hang out. I don't want to see you at this table again, plebe. <laughs> Congratulations. You just met and pissed off Maniac. A legend in his own mind. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm Casey. Hey, I'm O'Hearn. They call me Zero. Since you're new here, let me show you around pilot country. You're currently in the rec room. Home to malcontents, drunkards, and troublemakers. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of people. 
Over there's your self-serve bar. There's your flight simulator. And of course, the infamous kill board. Come on, there's much, much more. Locker's here. Inside, find your flight suit and your gear. Can we place? Oh, yeah. All neat and shiny. <laughs> Just like us. Mm -hmm. Of course, what state of the art carrier would be complete without Big Brother? From the flight log computer, you can log into the main system, just like in flight school. Only now, it's all for real. Anyway, once you uh, get yourself acquainted, come find me in the briefing room when you're ready. Fed credits at work. This is the nerve center of our work here on this ship. No map table? <sighs> Ancient history. This is the ISIS system. Brand new. It's tied to all the computers on the ship. It'll tell us where we're going and what we're doing according to the brainiacs upstairs. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. The tactical intelligence and science divisions. Anyway, it all gets distilled down to the screens on our desks. It's easy. Point and click. You know? <laughs> Call it our window to the world. If it works, that is. Casey, meet Dallas. A resident voice of doom and general naysayer. <sighs> Probably writing another letter to Senator Taggart as we speak. <laughs> Not so, Zero. It's a very appropriate name. I am, in fact, tracking my investments. Five more years at this rate, and I can retire a wealthy man. Yeah. You see, Dallas does it for the cash. It's not just a job and all that. You think everything is a conspiracy, don't you? Cash is what it's all about. How much money do you think Confed saved by building a standalone carrier force, namely this behemoth of a ship? God! Who cares? This tub gets hold, what then? They put all their eggs into one little basket with no backup. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Confed's got their greedy little fingers into everything. It's a few credits here and there. Well, don't tell that to Commodore Blair. After all, the Midway was his idea. Oh, no. Not Blair again. For years at the Academy, all we hear about is Blair this and Blair that. Savior of the Confederation, most decorated pilot, blah, blah, blah. What is a guy like? 4,000 years old? God, I think I've heard just about everything. Except that he was on board the Midway. Have we met, Lieutenant? Casey, Lansar, second lieutenant, confed number C26354. Casey, huh? So you're the Iceman's kid. I heard you were coming on board. You know, I flew with your father. He's a good pilot. Always followed orders. Knew when to keep his big mouth shut. Goodbye, career. I don't feel so bad. I hear there's always openings in the diplomatic corps. 
<laughs> Come on, let's get you a drink. Put those flames out. Good first day at work, honey? Oh, yeah. I've been on board less than an hour, and I've already managed to piss off just about every senior officer in sight. Including Commodore Blair. I'm go there. Stop right there, gentlemen. This here is Diamondback seating. Take a look around. Most of these pilots are still kids. They're, they're too green. Talk to the captain. Who's that talking to Blair? We don't even have a full complement of ships. That's the CAG, Commander Air Group. She's as hard as they come. Huh. Yeah. We've met. And it wasn't pretty. All right. Let's get started. We have a change of plans. As of now, the Midway is on full alert status. At 0400 hours, we received what appeared to be a Kilrothi distress call. Tactical has tried to verify this message fragment, but so far, whoever sent it has stopped transmitting. Since we're the closest vessel, HQ has ordered us to assess the situation. Attention, Captain on the deck. As you were. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. A live feed has just come in from our SWAX patrol that's jumped ahead to the Hereka system. This is a need to know for all squadrons. Open channel 3 1. Probably lost three full wings of fighters, but didn't get them all before they got hit. Nothing's moving now. Could have been two, maybe three carrier groups. Computer reads Frothy 2 class. Seems to have missed most of the blast. Whatever hit him completely obliterated the whole damn fleet. As no contact can be established with any Kilrathi ships, on recommendation of Colonel Decker, I've decided that as of now, this is a Marine operation. Commander? All right, before we begin, Lieutenant Casey, Lieutenant Talvert has recommended you lead the Diamondbacks based on your exemplary academy record. This is highly, highly unusual, Lieutenant. This is not a training yeah. exercise. Don't disappoint her. Pilots, now check your ISIS for mission details and assignments. Your wing will deploy when the Midway jumps into the Hreka system. Panthers from the Black Widow Squadron will provide primary escort for a Marine LC, with your Alpha Wing providing additional support. Escort the Marines to the remains of the Kilrothi fleet. Your objective there is this Frothy 2 class cruiser. SWAC scans have detected faint life signs aboard. The LC will dock with a damaged ship, and Colonel Decker will lead a detachment of Marines aboard to recover the ship's data log and locate any survivors. When the Marines have returned to their ship, escort them back to the Midway. Before I dismiss you, I believe Commodore Blair has a few words. Commodore? As you may know, the Midway is not yet fully operational. And for many of you, this will be your first mission outside the Academy. Keep in mind, you're Confed's very best. Watch your butts out there. Good luck, people. Dismissed. Hey, thanks for the opportunity. I won't let you down. Forget it, Lieutenant. Just 
Just make sure I don't have to come and save your sorry ass. <laughs> what? Is it me? Yes. <laughs> come on, let's fly. Patrol form up. Don't start, maniac. So now that you scrubs have figured out how to get here, let's engage our autopilots and get on with it. Will you look at that? Mother of God. Looks like the cats had one hell of a party. <laughs> Too bad we missed it. Was everybody watching that? Okay, we've talked to the cruiser off the wing. You watch our backs. I have a very bad feeling about this. Alpha wing, this is Marine One. The engagement area is littered with dead cats. Whatever hit them, hit them hard. Confirm the location of ship's auxiliary log. Downloading. What's up, please? We got company. Where the hell did they come from? Those aren't Kalasi fighters. Alpha Wing, we're taking fire. We're bugging up. Crap. All craft. Break and attack. Marines! We are leaving! Marine One dusting off. Clear to land. Damn! There goes the guidance system again. I need that working on the double one. Tell O'Neill to have hangar rams number two and seven back online. We got real problems here. Christ, doesn't anything work around here? Go. Um, um, What's your damage, flyboy? Excuse me? Did you trash your fighter or you just lost? Um, yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I just landed, I... Don't they teach you numb nuts anything in school? When you land, you check your stats there. Then you head to the chute, which leads to decontam. Got it? God, I hope you fly better than you take directions. See ya. What are you still standing here for? What do you want?
Would you sit down? Wait a second, wait, hold it. Just stop. This was not part of the deal. They're actually shooting out there. We're talking live ammo. I don't want to get your panties in a bind or anything, but when you joined on with Confed, didn't anyone actually tell you that getting shot at was part of the deal? Yeah, well, we're really not sure who they are yet. I heard one of Decker's men said that the dead cats on board were more than just blown away. More like cut up in little pieces. Cut up? Dissected. Almost ritually. Science Division's working on breaking the code on that black box that Decker's men brought in. They asked Rachel to help, but she's got her hands full bringing the ship back online. No telling how long that'll take. Zero said something about it. The cats being cut up. Is there any truth to that? Absolute truth. Cut up into little cat chunks. Decker's men also found a single Kilrothy word scrawled in blood on the deck. Even they were creeped out by it. What, what word? What, what word? I mean, Kilrothy ain't so good. Nathrak. Nathrak? What's that mean? Supposed to mean night or something like that. Darkness, actually. Void. Evil. All pilots to your ships. This is not a drill. All pilots to your ships.